Okay, here's our three buses, one, two, and three. And we are now at the Tannurine restaurant where we always stop for lunch and have St. Peter's fish. Tannurine. Right about there on the map. Here's some that opted out on lunch, smart ones. <laughs> and here's our group eating right now. All of these people all the way down there to the end. And all of these good folks here. Hey, go ahead. Say hello. Tell them hello, Leona. Who are you saying hello to? Um, Stephen Jensen. Carpenter and Adam. Adam. Adriana. Adriana Bates, sorry. And Abby and Adam and Audrey. All right. They'll see it tonight on the internet. All right. Thank you. All right. And then the rest of the folks are here. And they're all eating. Eating and eating. And fish. And eating. Can we, you want to say Mark With the heads on. Can we say hi to Mark and Matt? Yeah. Huh? Can we say hi to Mark and Sure. Fire away. Mark, Matt, Logan, Ryan, and Kelly. Yeah. Hi, hi. Having fun. Good. <laughs> You like the fish? Yes. It's good, isn't it? Yes. See, there's about oh, not much left but bones. <laughs> On the other side. Ah, other side. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I smoke in their cigarettes. You know, they're not scholars. They don't smell like books. They smell like fish. And these are the guys Jesus spent his time with. These are the ones he picked to be his disciples. So here I am out with these guys, and I feel like I'm with the apostles. And I, I said to them, you know, when you have to use the bathroom, what do you do here? You know, how, just, I, I think I, I should get this instruction ahead of time. He says, well, I show you. And he unzips and he goes oh, over the side of the boat. And right when he does this, the other guy takes the coffee pot and gets the pool of water. And I said, I think I'll wait till the next batch of coffee. <laughs> They're such earthy guys. It's, it's so earthy, you know. I'm just thinking this is the way Jesus lived with these rough, tough guys who are just out there in the sea with fish all night. I said, why do you fish at night? Why don't you fish in the daytime and work like normal people do? He said, ah, the Amnon are smart fish. He said, they can see the nets in the daytime. And if they see the nets, they will not go in them. We have to fish at night because they cannot see the nets. So all of a sudden, the Gospels, you know, here's the fifth Gospel. It illuminates the other four. You're here in the Holy Land. You're reading the fifth gospel, by the way. That's what I'm helping you to do. Read the fifth gospel. Dr. Han and Amir and I, were, our job is to help you get all the way through the fifth gospel while you're here. So my job was with the toilet plunger. They have a toilet plunger with a long handle on it. And I, as they came into the opening in the net, I had to go kapush, kapush, kapush with the toilet plunger. And it scares the fish. And they go away from the sound, and when they do, in all angles, they go right into the nets. And they can't see them at night because it's dark. All they know is hear this scary sound. I had a hammer. I was banging the side of the boat with one hand. Or bang, 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 kush, 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 kush. And the fish swim out, and they hit the nets. And then after we do that for a while, we go into the kerosene lantern, and we find the end of the net, and we start pulling it in. And every once in a while, there's a fish stuck in a net. We throw them into the bottom of the boat. I said, Holy Father, I want to raise up a priest for We're me. We're on our way to Jerusalem. He had his hands on my face and on my head and on my shoulders, and he was praying for me. And I thought, oh, for sure, I'm going to get pregnant now. <laughs> well, I didn't get pregnant. I didn't get pregnant. I didn't get pregnant. And then three months later in September, um, something else happened, which is, I think, part of the story, but it's an unexpected part. But anyway, several years later now, um, I had a dream that I was pregnant and we were leaving for the island of Guam the next day and I thought oh I better check and I was 48 years old at the time and sure enough I did that home pregnancy test <clears throat> my period wasn't even late but I was pregnant so I woke Steve up in the morning and I showed him the test and uh, we announced it to the world I called the doctor that day got in right away she gave me hormones and all this kind of stuff and told me that there was a 60% miscarriage rate at this, at 
at this time, so uh, just what to expect. But. Very special. All 100 and almost 40 of us are walking through the old streets of Jerusalem, and we are going to a solemn entry into the Holy Sepulchre. Hello, everybody. Hello, You're going to... You're going to be in the tomb of Christ in just a few minutes. We just came in the new gate there, and here we are on our way through, heading towards the Holy Sepulchre. processing in with the Franciscans for the solemn entry into the tomb of Christ. We'll be going right in here. Amen. Uh -huh. 